Somebody is welding again. I don't know why. I feel like today is so typical of my life. Woke up, met with a client. I need to film three episodes. We're gonna make it happen. I have another client at 4.15 in the afternoon and then another one at 7.30. So between then, I will just be editing. That's it, this is the day to day. Clients and content. I had to refilm an episode three times today. Three times. The first time because I was like, this isn't so bad. And there were noises outside. And then the second time I filmed it because, well, it was the second time because I wanted to correct from the first time. And the second time the noises got even louder and worse. So I played back the footage and it was terrible, unusable. And so then I had to, I just, was wasting time, not wasting, but I created a reel instead. I was like, I wanna do something productive. And then after the reel, everything quieted down. I was able to get the third edit in. I just can't even believe today. I can't even believe it. And now I have a client right now, and then I will edit in between. And then after that, another client and more editing. So I'll get something out today. Guys, I got a special package from Vasilia. She is now the brand new, well, we. I've worked with her for a few years, the brand new United States of America's teen. Congratulations. Class for her. Class for her. So many claps. And look at this, guys. This is so sweet. So she's Serbian and Greek, actually. And she sent me these little cookies to try. To try. Oh, so we're going to enjoy them. Right, Lou? Okay, grab one. Grab one. And yeah, I Serbian cookies. Oh, my God. Oh, classic, though. Thank you. Thank you. We love them! It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I slept in. I don't even know if I slept or set an alarm. I can't even remember hitting snooze if I did set an alarm. I don't think I did. I was just editing so late last night. Nothing really interesting to film, guys. Um, but I'm gonna go check out my gym for the first time right now. The gym in my apartment is perfect. It's cute. There are some cardio machines, there's weights, there's a mat as you can see. And whenever I like to work out, I like to start with a little bit of cardio and then it just depends on the day and what I'm targeting, but mixture of weights or body weight exercises. My job is so weird because it's around the clock. Today feels like there's so much to do and it won't get done, but we're gonna try, we're gonna give it a good go. I need to call my tax man, pay to get my taxes done. And then of course pay for the taxes themselves. It's been a day. I edited content, had a change of plans. I was supposed to go to Long Island today. Gonna go tomorrow morning instead. Now I'm gonna start planning my cousin's bachelorette party. My cousin does not want a normal bachelorette party, okay? Not all the things. Also, we have some restrictions with her job. So we can't go out of state. That takes away a lot of options. And she's not allowed to stay in a hotel. So we have to stay in an Airbnb. Tell me how that makes sense. I have no idea. And let's add on to the fact that she can't go anywhere until she gets off of work on a Friday, which is at 3.45. She better be packed ahead of time. Here's what my idea is. Either San Diego or Palm Springs, Palm Desert. Get in late-ish Friday, dinner. Wake up the next day, spa day all day. Of course, another dinner. Wake up the next day, Sunday, brunch before we go back. Cause she has to be back Sunday because she has to be at work on Monday. This is just stress inducing to me. It just sounds all stressful. It's such a rush. If it was my bachelorette party, heck, we're going somewhere all inclusive for at least a week. I don't know, we're going somewhere fabulous. Like, but this whole like leaving Friday late afternoon evening, getting back Sunday evening, it's a lot. We are by, I don't know, again, wait, the sound? Is uh, that, that's where we are? <laughs> kind of. Well, I don't know. <laughs> that's a bridge. That's the Trevor Bridge. We're learning about things today. We are headed to Long Island. Long Island. Technically, okay. We're going to Long Island today. So we're venturing. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Wow. We're here just enjoying a lovely weekend. That's us enjoying. <laughs> Lou's mom made one of the most incredible charcuterie spreads I have ever seen. I ate so much, knocked out, took a nap, and also here is Bruce. You just need to see Bruce. He's a cutie pie. I am wearing Olivia's Linky Lou set from Olive. I'll link it in the description. The Zara corset. We're ready. For Sunday brunch on Long Island, we went over to Michelangelo's Wine Bar, and it's a great time. They actually have a DJ there. The food we tried was the Nutella panini, the Nutella waffle, the bruschetta, and then also this cheese flatbread, which I think was my personal favorite. 
The next day we both had work, so we traveled back to the city. We took the Long Island Railroad there. The ride is less than an hour, and it's something I actually enjoy doing because I can either relax or catch up on more work. I'm getting ready to shoot some new episodes, and I was just thinking I had this like flashback memory from childhood. I used to watch Mr. Rogers all the time, and Mr. Rogers would always talk directly to the kids in the camera, and he would say things like, well, hello, friends, or whatever stuff. Hello, neighbor. And then it reminded me of how I say stuff like that on the channel. I'm over here just talking to you guys, just like, hello, friend. And I feel like that came from Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I'm pretty sure that that's what's going on there. Just a random thought. Anyways, getting ready, gonna shoot two new episodes. Right now, I am so close to 90,000 subscribers. I'm basically less than 700 away. It's definitely doable. So if you wanna help out, just share the channel. Always appreciated. In order to accomplish that goal, gotta push out a lot more content. So that is what we're doing today. I'm just filming two actually, I guess, and vlogging. So that could kind of count as three. But vlogs? I take a ton of clips for vlogs. I never know what I'll end up putting in the final product, so I just film. I really wanna sit and just watch my Road to Miss Montana USA stuff. I look back at it now, though I saw a couple clips and I just think, oh, so much room for improvement. There's so much more we could have done. We live and we learn. It's my word of encouragement for the day for you. Do your best, let God handle the rest. Very high up on the list of things I don't enjoy doing is making phone calls specifically to strangers, but we must. I have to plan this bachelorette party. Oh my gosh, I hate making these phone calls. Just eat cookies. For the most up-to-date information regarding guest safety, activities, hours of operation, and amenities, please visit missionbayresort.com. For reservations, so I don't like press it. one. For all other inquiries, press two. questions about your spa currently I am looking to book some spa services for a bachelorette party So much do I dislike it. Hi, um, I have a couple of questions about your guys' spa. I am in charge of booking a bachelorette party. When I put glasses on and put my hair back, I just like, it just feels chic, I, even though I know it's not. But it just, it makes me feel better about life, you know? You're like, look at me, all, all put together, my whole life <laughs> going well. Like, that's how I feel about it. So we're searching for juice at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Found it. You found juice? Oh, is it a good one? Find a good one. We ended up going to Juice Press. There are so many juice spots in the city. There are so many juices to try, and I am happy to try all of them. This place, though, was really cute. Not only did they have juice, but they also have some other menu items and acai bowls and grab-and-go things. So I think I'll definitely pop back in here. Just so good. Pineapple juice, but I love pineapple juice. Fire. Spicy charcoal, which I don't even know what Dirty that's. detox. <laughs> it looks like dirt. Just nothing to it. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, um, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like those, it's like a collagen water if you've had one of those. Blue Gatorade. Oh, like magic, that. Yeah, white, white <laughs> blood glacier breeze is what I'm hoping that's for. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, what does that taste? It's also kind of like collagen water. These are not what I expect. They're very mild. It's almost like a little sour though. Yeah, yeah, sour. That's a good, that's a good way of putting it, Lou. Yeah. 